First topic of conversation today is our review, full review of Sons of the Forest. Oh, I can't wait. Ooh, wee. Not only is our full review, um, some of us have played a lot of it. Some of us have played not a lot of it. <laughs> some of us can't play it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> I knew you were going to go that route. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sons of the Forest is currently early access, and this game is from End Night Games. It was supposed to be a full release game at launch when it launched on February 23rd, 2023. Unfortunately, it is not a full release game. They were like, nope month beforehand and they were like let's come early access nope we fucked up yep and it's very clearly an early access game however it's interesting to dive into so little context i played the first forest didn't really enjoy it that much travis friend of the podcast community twitch streamer awesome dude loves the forest addicted addicted how many times did he play the forest since you were there oh they came home early on their trip just oh. to play it. Oh, yeah. He's dang. like, yeah, we're coming home on this day, so we all can play Sons of the Force. And he played yeah. it all day and all night, like nonstop, locked wow. up in there, just hooked. I couldn't do that. He claims he only has like seventeen hours in the game, but he also cl- well, no, he claims that all the hours that are logged are not hours he played. But I disagree. All that to be said. <laughs> yeah, Sons of the Force is a game that is a survival game where. You're up in this aircraft, you go, you get shot down, and you have to survive. And you have to figure out something about somebody. They say on Steam, it's you're sent to find a missing billionaire on a remote island. You find yourself in a cannibal infested hellscape. Craft, build, and struggle to survive alone or with friends in this terrifying new open world survival horror simulator. I was excited to play this game because I like the idea of playing a co op survival game with my friends. Um, I haven't had much luck playing with my friends, but when I did, it was fun, except they ran off without me a lot, and that was very sad, because I just wanted to build shit. Mm-hmm. didn't happen. So but, what would happen in real life? You know, <clears throat> yeah, you and I yeah. are out in the forest, I'll just leave you. No, in real life, I would be dead. <laughs> it wouldn't last very long. <laughs> it would not happen. Ugh. I can only do survival in video games. <laughs> video games. That's about it. But uh, Sons of the Forest was interesting. I mean, we, we dove into it. First, first impression that I had was it's a beautiful game. I mean, the graphics are incredible. Um, they drop you in this world, you know, lush forest. Um, there's a snowy land up in the distance. Um, lots and lots of trees. Good, like, realistic mechanics as you're chopping trees down, this, that, whatever. It looks really, really good. Um, and then when you go to, like, manage your inventory like you literally like lay a pack down like a like a blanket and you lay all your shit down on the ground and it's like a book bag that's f- like laid out and you have like everything there i like that animation yeah to it and everything but it's interesting because it's also you have a book bag that's you have with you as part oh. of that so it's like i don't know it's it's kind of weird because when you lay this thing down it's like you have this like a big huge like bag of holding on your back that can carry a bunch of shit mm. and then you have a backpack that you can load other stuff into that's for quick access. So whenever you use a quick access menu, you like pull the backpack out and then it's like, oh, I can grab this or I can grab that. Otherwise, it's an animation where you like, you get down the ground, lay the bag out and then go from there. But it's, uh, there's a lot of inventory management. Yeah. A lot of collecting things. And somehow, you can build a time bomb in this game with the materials you find, but you can't get a shovel without going through a bunch of different like, Rolls to like go through different caves and shit. Progression. That was kind of weird. Progression, man. I don't know. It was weird. It was weird. But anyway, game is great. I think it's got a lot of potential here, but it's very, very clearly early access, despite the fact it was supposed to be a full release game. So, Austin, what were your thoughts? You play this game. How do you feel about it? I like it. I already deleted it. Love it. I got three hours in and I was playing with you and Scott and I was expecting a lot more and it's basically the same as before. Now, I know <clears throat> I originally played some, uh, The Forest. Um, I don't know how much time I got in it, but I played it with Travis and Scott and probably with you a little bit. And for the most part, I liked it. You know, you could create these bases and, you know, I thought it was going to be a little different than what it originally was um, or what it actually is. And, you know, I put some time in, I had fun, I built, I conquered, and 
you know, I didn't know there was actually a story in there until I started looking at the story, and then I realized how much you have to do to actually get through the story. And I was like, I'd rather not do this. And, and the first one or the second one? And the both. first one. Okay. Yeah. And so coming to this one, it's exactly the same thing. The trailer makes it, make it makes it look out look to be a little different and a little more involved. They're like evolved, not involved. And it doesn't do that. Like mm-hmm. they show all these cool <laughs> creatures that you can come across and like weird things are happening. And I was like, Oh cool. Like as you explore you're gonna see like crazy things and you have to, you know, do your best to, you know, build your fort, which you still have to do that. Yeah. And, you know, things will come attack you, which that does happen, but <clears throat> it's just not varied enough. There's no, like, main progression or, like, leading you to, like, oh, hey, you should probably go do this. And, um, which it doesn't necessarily have to be, but I felt like it, they just throw you in the sandbox, which is fine sometimes. But in this case, for me, it just doesn't, doesn't do it for me. And it's just a bunch of the same creatures come and find you, and uh, there are some cool moments that we ran into where it's like we see new enemies, like stronger enemies, and we have to work together to defeat them. But outside of that, I mean, I'm not going to put any more time into this. And Travis has 36 hours. In Very repetitive. I mean, the grind's not there for it. It's not yeah, worth it. The grind's not worth not the worth, time. It's not worth the grind, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's definitely, mm-hmm. there's, you know, when we, when we jumped into Valheim, I think the biggest like pull for me with Valheim was it was very grindy, but I love building stuff. I feel like the building was very dense in what you can do and how you can build like, you know, really badass bases and stuff like that. But then there was like bosses you can go and fight and you knew where generally where those bosses were. <clears throat> like there was a, you know, icon that showed up on your map or whatever. You can mark a bunch of locations on your map to like remember like where stuff was, which I really appreciated. And in this game, you have all this technology at your disposal because at the very beginning you have you have literally a sat phone that lets you see like where what the map looks like but in the sat phone you can only you can't mark locations as you discover them you have to find these little trackers physical trackers and there's only three of them in the game right now apparently and once you lay those three trackers down those are the only ways you can actually leave markings of like oh i want to come back here eventually because of mm. x y and z and now there's a lot less like, you know, it's really beneficial in Valheim because you're looking for a bunch of different resources. You're looking for copper and you're looking for iron and you're looking for, you know, or this, that, whatever. You're looking for a bunch of different stuff. In this game, really, you're just looking for wood. That's all you really need is just logs and then fish to like eat and stuff like that. But I'm still surprised you can't like lay more markers down as you're discovering new things because there's like several areas that like, you can go to but you have to have a shovel to go like you have to have the shovel and the shovel is only accessible by going to one specific cave that you have to figure out where it is go through all the bosses in there to get to it find the shovel and then you can go back and do all this other stuff but it doesn't tell you ever like what markers you've already been to or where you like you can't like if i had a physical map i could write a freaking (laughs) red x on a map and be like i've been here i've been here i've been here we have this physical device that never runs out of battery, but you can't mark anything. So it's like kind of, kind of counterintuitive. I feel like for what an exploration game should have. Do you think they did that on purpose or just by accident? They just didn't even think about it. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's, it could be on purpose, but I don't see the purpose. I feel like it is. I feel like like it is. I don't, I don't get it. I think they just made this sandbox with some cool stuff and it's like, okay, go have fun. There's things. There's enemies. Just forcing you to go explore, basically. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's points of interest on there, but it's like, okay, like, it's cool, but it it doesn't all make sense, which I guess is, like, the big problem. Like, at least with Valheim, it's like, okay, here is a dungeon full of skeletons. I know I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to find some cool stuff in there, but I need to get stronger. I need to get more armor. You know, I need to make the right weapons. I need to have multiple weapons. Like, I'm going to go back. I'm going to get this stuff. And it's going to help me build more things and build new things because you're going to find new ingredients in there that are going to unlock all this other stuff that I'm going to do. And you're like, oh, I'm going to build those. I'm going to explore what this does. Or maybe I need to go back to some other places I've been to. And then with the marking of the map, like, you you kind of just... and it, it knows, like, yeah, you know where you've been, but it helps you open the map because there is a fog of war. So it's like, oh, I need to go 
this way and see what this whole map's about. Yeah. And I think that's exciting because <clears throat> you don't know exactly and there is progression. There's well, no progression that, in this game. Well, I think that is the other thing about this game is that because of the fact the map is entirely open, they don't give you any kind of sense of direction of like where to go. Like in Valheim, you have a good knowledge of you don't you don't tend to go very far outside of where you are because you very quickly can find okay if I go in the dark forest or the forest or whatever it's called in Valheim, you're gonna get your butt kicked pretty quickly, right? Well, when I was playing with Scott and you guys, like we went around the map. I went around the entire freaking map trying to figure out where the hell we get a stupid shovel, and like we every once in a while like hit some bad people and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, it's like. It wasn't very clear that like, hey, I'm at a position where I can't, I shouldn't go further. Like the environment didn't tell me like, don't go past this point. And what I realized was that you weren't supposed to go past that point. You were supposed to like go within your little tiny circle, go to this random cave. But you had to, there's a certain order you have to do it on the side of the map that you're at. But I didn't realize it wasn't clear because I didn't know what I was supposed to get in any of them. I didn't know I was looking for a freaking shovel <laughs> to advance any aspect of the game. I was like, oh, there's these zip lines. Well, maybe I can find some zip lines. But every time you found a cave, like all you found in the cave was like the same exact resources over and over again. I found like some bottles of alcohol. I found some rags occasionally. I found like arrows, arrows, you know, the same kind of things that like I can craft stuff with. But it wasn't anything that was like progression, progressing me forward in the game. Um, <clears throat> I think that's by design. I think they just want you to play and eventually find the stuff because you want to explore, but there's nothing really pulling you pulling you along. In Valheim, it's like, oh, I want to go in the swamps. I want to get better because that's where I get my silver that I can make better weapons, better armor. Like, I need to go there. I need to build a ship. I need to collect all these things. I need to build a house that's going to withstand yeah. attacks. Like, it all makes sense. This doesn't make sense. Well, that's the thing. There's no, there's no drive to explore in this game. Exactly. Because you don't, it doesn't, it doesn't make that, sense. <laughs> it doesn't dip that 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 in there as as Valheim does as well as it should. I mean, like you have this booklet that tells you like all the things you can like build. So it says like here's how you build a fire. Here's how you build you know like a little tent or whatever. So it's like okay, I know that I can build this and I can then build this. But then once you get to a certain point, you kind of built all the things. But there is a way you can then build large buildings and you can set up like a blueprint where it creates like a ghosted like template that you then just like go and find the materials bring it over there and start building the structure out and the structure building is really really good like i really appreciate how you build stuff like at the, it took me a little bit to figure it out but like once i started building i was like this is really cool but it seems like the game doesn't want you to b spend time building early on it wants you to like find that shovel and find all these things but it's not very clear that that's like what you're supposed to do and again yeah you're probably right you know you're supposed to explore but I don't want to sit here and spend 50 hours walking around this island before I find out the one thing I need to do to move me forward because that's the one piece that holds me back in the future progression of the game is getting that one item. How long is it going to take you to get that item? You don't even know you need it? You don't even know where to get it? Like, no. you just start getting stuff? And then, like, how are you going to remember, oh, there's that cave after I get the scuba gear that I can go into, but I'm sure there's, like, five other caves that are just like it that I can use. And it's just like, uh, I'm like, I'm not gonna remember to go back to any like half of those caves. Yeah. So there's no real guide to it. They just drop you in and be like, hey, yeah, good luck. Which survive. I mean, survive. yeah, it's a survival game. Survival game. Yeah. But it's it just seems <laughs> it seems there's not a good sense of it's not deep enough and it's not directional enough to to get you moving through. There are some really cool things in the game. I mean, like you have. One of the new things in this game that they didn't have before is NPCs that yeah. help you. Yeah. So yeah, Kelvin, who's a little dude that can't hear now that he had an injury when he fell down out of the, the plane or whatever. Uh huh. So you can get bark orders at him by writing on a piece of paper and show him like, I want you to make a fire or I want you to go grab logs. And it's nice when you're playing by yourself, you have this little dude that can go around and do stuff for you. you don't want him to die because if he dies and he's permanently out of the game. But Oh, is permadeath him. for him? Yeah, permadeath. He dies, oh, he's dead. Oh, shit. But he's also kind of an idiot because he walks in the fire when he's bringing you logs. So he almost died for me like five times <laughs> by just me giving him orders. So that was kind of silly. And then there's this other girl named, uh, what's her name? Virginia. Virginia, thank you. You're welcome. Virginia. How do you know that? Three oh, legs, no. I've been, so here, here's the thing with this game uh, I follow a lot of it from watching TikToks and stuff. Uh, I enjoy uh, uh, the gameplay of it, the game mechanics and all that. And then I enjoy watching just Kevin 
Kelvin. Kelvin? Kelvin. Kelvin just making a fucking mess of things. <laughs> and, you know, I, I found out, this. like, just recently, uh, and I think I told you this, but I don't think I told you this, uh, Austin, is that the reason why Kelvin is chopping down tree houses is because he's afraid of heights. Because I don't know if you've seen, like, videos of him just, like, just chopping away at it to like people build tree houses and he's just chopping down chopping it down and then like after he chops it down it all falls down he puts a th- his hands, he, he does a thumbs up at oh you and you're like God. no Kelvin no why and why did you just say this and he's just so happy and I, I I love the mechanics to this game I really like the whole um, uh, the graphics really because it, it's just like Phenomenal! Oh, it looks way better. It looks so good compared to yeah. the last one, and it that part blows me away. But I cannot play this game. But sorry, that that was me getting. <coughs> no, it's good. Since y'all questioning yeah. me on it, so. <laughs> <laughs> and plus Virginia, she can get it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, she can get. She it. can get it. Does she have four legs? And three. three legs. Three legs. Yeah. Two arms. Four arms. She can. She can make some work happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <I'm right. laughs> so supposedly there's a scene. No, she brings you shit. Yeah, she brings I you a lot know of shit. Which she like mean? defends and everything. Yeah. So. Wow. That's She's great. not like Kelvin's. You don't want to kill Kelvin. But from but. what I hear, you have to that encounter. Have Have you encountered her yet? Yeah, we've encountered her a couple of times. I've yeah. given her stuff. Yeah. So I, I slowly am working up to getting her to trust me. So you have to get her. Yeah, you have to basically get her to trust you. And I find that aspect very unique because she comes up. She's like out in the woods watching. You can see her. You come up to her. She runs away. So you have to eventually get that trust from her. And then eventually she'll bring you stuff, just random shit, you know, like a fish or something like that. And then you start giving her things. And it's, it's kind of like a weird interaction of trust that you can see. And I, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. A lot. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of stuff to this game. There's a lot of great foundational stuff. It's just it needs that that progression loop. Mm. I think that's 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 missing from it because battle mean, pass. No, <laughs> not a battle pass. <laughs> um, Give yeah, me that because there's pass. there's a lot of stuff in here. Like I was reading the the Steam page, and it's like you know I didn't realize that like oh you can get your salmon and stuff from the spring and the summer, and then you can store meat for the cold winter months. So like there's like there's seasons. There's seasons in this game. That we haven't quite experienced yet because we haven't played it enough, but there's whole seasons going on. Um, you Where's know, the, the, the demons are really good. The cannibals are really good. I mean, they're they're very weird, and they like mm-hmm. come up to you and they're like, "Oh, I'm gonna run away from you now. I'm gonna come up to you. I'm gonna run away from you." And then they get comfortable and they're like, "Oh, I'm gonna freaking fuck your shit up." So yeah. They like they took out my base one day when I was freaking Scott went off by himself to go rummaging for stuff because he didn't want to build these games. And I was like, Scott, why'd you leave me here? And you'd already logged off, Austin. <laughs> I th- nobody else is online with me, so I'm sitting here. It's like nighttime, and like you know, I'm starving and I'm thirsty, etc. But I'm trying to finish my house. And it turns out the game doesn't have locks for their doors yet. So these freaking this asshole, I was sitting there building my house, hiding inside the house. He walks right up inside the house and kills me. <laughs> I was oh, like, no. Are you shitting me? So then I was he about that. Where's Calvin? Whenever, whenever Calvin they was outside in the fire. Uh, Probably <laughs> hanging out, getting or burnt up, catching fish. So, whenever know. they kill you, uh, is it uh, that, the, okay? Two things actually, because I saw someone die or get like, get killed or whatever. Yeah, but he actually got captured. Yeah, yeah. You so don't die. You don't die immediately. Yeah, you get captured. They take you to a stake and they hang you up. Yeah, and then you have to cut yourself down and then find and your pack. Your pack is right next to the campsite. So okay, they just, like, lay it right there. So I you like can go that. Pick it up. Yeah. But apparently, I think Travis was saying that after three deaths, it's permadeath and you're done. Oh, so there is permadeath. That there was going to be my next death, question. Yeah. Okay. Unless you get revived by a friend. So if you okay. have you know, co-op in there, then you're okay. You're okay. I know that. Can can your NPCs revive you? Or I don't think so. I'm not They're sure. They're pretty well, dumb. Even Virginia. They might be able to, but like half the time, like... Me and me and Scott were trucking around trying to find this stupid shovel. Uh-huh. Like freaking Kelvin was not keeping up with us. He was just like halfway across the map. And I was like, <laughs> come on, dude. So on the, me. so you can see you can see all your people on the map. <clears throat> just the, just Kelvin, uh, but Virginia, you can if you put a tracker on her. Oh, so, so you have to I put did. a tracker on. So her. I put a tracker on her, and then I could see because I hadn't befriended her yet, but I gave her a tracker, mm-hmm. and then she would now have it, and she carries it around. So I always know where she's at. Okay, I already saw the ending to this game too. By the way, yeah, so. the, I heard the ending was terrible, but I haven't watched it yet. Uh, it's weird. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah no spoilers no spoilers oh shit okay yeah. but uh yeah 
I mean, my, my, my thought is like, if you guys really, really like survival games, um, I think there's a good foundation here to like, just mm-hmm. screw around in a survival game, but it's definitely something that I would probably wait. They are, they seem to be, the developers seem to be on top of things and updating on a regular basis. Yeah. Just last <clears> week <throat> they did an update, right? Yeah. They just dropped uh, they have hang, gl- hang gliders in the game now Ooh. and they have uh, binoculars and some balance tweaks and stuff like that. So oh, did you get the sled yet? No. The 3D. So, uh, Sarah, Sarah got it, but oh. she, she didn't know how to use it. Oh, we played. Yeah, there's no fall damage to it, not unless they patched it. Oh, that's good. People were going down the mountain, just rocking and just. Oh, like, that's cool. Go. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> so, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, anyway, sorry. Yeah, hard pass yeah. for me. Yeah. Not gonna waste my time. Not gonna waste time. I are got you, Fortnite battle passes to get through. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Are you are you gonna continue playing it, Brett? Or yeah, only with them though. Like I want to jump in with them. We've had a couple. <laughs> only of, with them, with Scott. Only with my friends. <laughs> so well, how does Scott too? Yeah. How does but that Scott work? Already beat it too. Before before oh, you okay. like close out on this, how, how does that work with like jumping in with another people, like another person? Does it bring your your campsite over, or is it just just you're in their world? Yeah, so your inventory will carry over, but your progression doesn't carry over as okay. far as I can tell. So if they join my server, mm-hmm. their character can come over, but their where they are in the world doesn't actually, doesn't actually pass carry. Through. Yeah. Um, the same with obviously the buildings and stuff like that. So really, okay. when they're playing in my world, so it's not like No Man's game. Sky where we were in an area and we built something. Right. Okay. Yeah. No. That's um, what I was that would about. be nice. That's what I'm hoping that they eventually add. Cause I know they talked about. There's a potential of dedicated servers coming, which yeah. will enable that option to exist. Okay. Because like in Valheim, we can set up a private server and all eight of us can jump in there yes. whenever we want and play through the same persistent world. Okay. Um, but in this, they don't have that. But it's also a story-driven game, mm-hmm. so may, it probably wouldn't make the most sense to have it because yeah. then that means anytime anybody jumped in, then the story progress, like stuff progresses, time yeah. progresses. But... Um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's interesting, but I mean, mechanically, this game's pretty solid. I mean, it's got a lot of a lot of the building stuff is was really impressive to me. It looks very visceral. It's very um, realistic, like building the the roofs and like building like the like braces to build like second floors and stuff like that is pretty complex. Yeah, um, the world looks incredible. Um, the way the AI operates is really cool. It's just it just is. I just don't have any sense of direction of what to do in this game. And I, I get that it's a survival game, but I want a little bit of a, a little bit of carrying. Stick, yeah. You know, a little bit like of guide me somewhere. Yeah. I think that's why it was so easy for me getting the last one. Cause there was like, Oh, survival game with crazy stuff in here. Like, okay, cool. I'm going to do that. But then it's like, Oh, there's a story in here. I was like, there's a story in here. And it's like, I, uh, I'm not getting anywhere in this game. I don't know how to progress. And it just takes mm-hmm. me out of it. Yeah, so that's how I felt about same here. Uh, Minecraft. Whenever I jumped into it, oh. I was just See, like Minecraft. I was like building shit. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. but uh, I didn't realize there was like a you know you can fight that dragon at the end and all that. No I, I had no fucking idea. No, yeah, that's just, the first I've ever heard of it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I didn't know what I was doing. I was just building shit, going places, and like I was playing with my friend, my roommate at the time, because we were playing Rocket League for a while. He's just like, let's jump into Minecraft. I was like, yeah, fuck it, cool, why not? It's popular, and I jump into it. And I was just like. What's the purpose of this game? You know, where's my carrot at the stick thing moment? And he's just like, we just survive, man. And I'm like, I, I feel like there has to be a purpose to this game. And I, I don't want to just run around and build shit the whole time, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. It is fun to build shit in that game. Just if it's like Lego bricks, like, but we used to, I used to turn off the, uh, oh, turn off the bad guys. Yeah. So you can just like freely build. Freely build. That was kind of cool. Mm. Um, Apparently, so the last update for Sons of the Forest did add the ability to lock doors now with a stick placed on the interior of the door. So that's good. But they didn't have it at launch, and that was ah, upsetting. Cool. Stick placement. Stick placement. Yeah. I like it. But uh, yeah, Sons that's of the Forest. Stick placement for Brett. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Son <laughs> of the Forest. Yep. That's, uh, if you guys want it, go get it. Um, if you like survival games, I think if you really like survival games, pick it up. If not, I'd probably hold until they finish this game a little bit further. 